What's going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So actually I've already recorded this video but um, for some reason it didn't record and it was very painful for me and like I feel dead inside right now but uh, I really want to make it so I'm gonna try to record it again and if it doesn't work I'm just gonna go, I don't know binge eat or something I guess so um, here we have the blocking animation where uh, I forgot to say in this part we're gonna add our blocking animation and we're gonna make the blocking input for it so that you can block whenever you're holding the block button so for the animation we want to use is the greatsword blocking on Maria. So I've already downloaded the greatsword blocking animation, which is the blocking idle, make sure it's the idle one. And I'm just gonna import it again. I already did this as I said, but I deleted everything and I'm starting over for recording the video. Wait, let me check it's recording. Yeah, it is. Okay, import. You choose our skeleton, make sure you do that. And let me check if it's working. Yeah, it is. So I'm just going to create animontage and in the, inside the animontage, we want to change the slot to upper body. I don't know. Let's just make it default slot for now. Now we can approach this in two ways, which is you can't move while blocking or you can move while blocking. I'm going to show you how to do both. And make sure you press this and press here again so that it loops. Uh, why you want it to loop is because while holding the block button, you want your animation to keep looping and playing over and over and over and over again. And you don't want it to just play and then end. So yeah, that way it's gonna loop. And that's it for the animontage. Actually, I'm gonna make it upper body and so that it plays only the in the upper body and i'll show you the other way later so that's it for the animations i'm gonna go to my blueprints folder and to my character blueprint and what i want to do first is i want to this one from the attack uh, part what i want to do is i want to select these three which make you draw your sword whenever you attack when the sword is not drawn so these ones make you draw it before attacking i want to collapse these into macro and i want to call it check if weapon is drawn macro and i'm gonna go inside of it and Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna make true here and delete this one and compile. And in our combat graph, I'm also gonna delete it from the heavy attacks and just use the macro. I'm gonna check inside of it one minute, okay. And we also want to use it with our um, blocking, but first what we want to do is we want to create an input for blocking. So go to project settings to input and create the action mapping for blocking. So for blocking, I'm not sure which button to use for PC, but um, like I never played Dark Souls on keyboard. so. I'm just gonna use spacebar for now. We can change it later, but uh, yeah, spacebar is fine. There's no jumping yet. Um, why am I not in my level? One minute. Okay, much better. I actually changed the uh, intensity of the directional lights because it was too dark. So yeah, it's better now. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is gonna is we're gonna go back to blueprints and over here just type block which is our input so type your input and mm, 
when you press the block button we want to create a new variable and I'm gonna call it blocking you want to set it to true so when you block you block and when you one minute and when you release it you set this one to false why is it not copying okay set it to false and with the released and after you set blocking to true what you want to do is you want to check your if your weapon is drawn and if it is then you draw it like it gets drawn so while this is happening you want to check if you're still holding the block button so you want to branch and the condition if it's blocking or not and if it's true you want to go to play anim montage which finally makes your character do the blocking animation and if blocking is false like after you release it blocking is false and you stop anim where is it anim montage stop anim montage and you choose your anim montage which is great sword blocking like this and i think this is it for this part okay yeah, we're gonna go over it again so you press the block button it sets blocking to true while your weapon is being drawn if it's not drawn we check again if you let go of the blocking button so by now um after your weapon is drawn uh you can just use the block button to draw your weapon now same as attacking but for blocking after it's done you don't uh, block unless you're holding the block button so yeah that's it and if it's true we play the anim montage and over here is the opposite i guess so i'm just gonna comment on this call it blocking and there's okay let's try it out and see how it works one minute let's make it big okay so we're walking around and we block uh there's something wrong okay that didn't happen last time why am i attacking with the block button i got no idea oh Okay. Okay. Let's try it like this. Okay, there's something wrong. Did I choose the wrong? Uh, oh, okay. Great sword blocking montage. But before that, I'm actually gonna undo this. Yeah, that's it. Great sword blocking montage. Oh my god, I messed it up. I chose the heavy attack animation for that. Horrible, horrible mistake. Very newbie of me. Okay, there you go. I know the animation looks very ugly. It's gonna look better when we replace our um, animations, so yeah. You can sprint, you can crouch while blocking. And generally, it's, it's just working great. But uh, yeah, in the next part, we're actually gonna add... Um, we're gonna start working on our enemy which is very scary and exciting at the same time and we're also gonna be adding controls for the playstation 4 controller which is like much easier to use than this so i really hope you guys are looking forward to it and um really the animations are ugly i know but um they're useful so that's great so yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it wasn't too hard um i think it was one of the easiest tutorials we've done so far so yeah that's great so i really hope you like the video and leave a comment telling me what you think and i know the animations are ugly again i'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself but uh, we're gonna replace them all later when we have our own character and we our animations like i don't know I'm, I'm gonna find someone to do them for us <laughs> and um yeah i really hope you guys subscribe because when we reach like 10,000 subscribers or something i'm gonna make another series maybe on how to make a 3d platformer so yeah guys i really hope you 
uh, you are looking forward to that. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.